Hello and welcome to a new episode of Connected from Home, where we choose to stay safe, yet refuse to be disconnected. We connect with interesting people from all around the world and seek inspiration. How much time do we waste? Let's be honest with ourselves. How much time do we spend scrolling on our phones? How about contributing 1% of our time for a good cause? This is exactly the concept of 1%, a global platform that encourages everyone to volunteer or initiate volunteering events. Community manager, Nadia Shahab, will be joining us today and she'll tell us all about it. Hello Nadia and thank you for joining us in this episode of Connected From Home. Hello Heba, thank you for your time. Uh, it's certainly our pleasure. Please explain to us the concept of 1%. So 1% is basically a global volunteering platform and it's been created to help encourage everyone to give 1% of their time. So why, why 1%? It's basically inspired by the value of time and the challenge we face when it comes to using it. So to address this challenge, 1% came to light. Now, when we're talking about uh, simply the term 1%, uh, the, the significance behind it is that it is simply uh, a symbolic figure uh, which, is, which has been created for everyone to donate 1.5 hour of their week to anyone out there in the community. So now you wonder why is it one and a half hours? This is a minimal figure which was placed in order for everyone to easily be able to give it. Now, if you look back to your previous week, uh, you notice that one and a half hour is probably the time you can spend on the phone with someone or in a queue somewhere or in traffic. So when we look back at the time accumulated, it's a lot of time which was uh, basically wasted. So what one person does is it helps everyone give their time in a valuable way. And uh, that's something very important. Yeah, that's actually a great idea. So what's the story behind it? Like who, who came up with this idea? So 1% was basically founded by Fawaz and Fahad al baby who's a son and father duo. And they really, this, this topic is very dear to their hearts and they're very passionate about it. Now, what we tend to, what we tend to do is due to the traditional way of uh, of NGOs and volunteering. What 1% does is it breaks this barrier through a simple way of using technology. So what you can do simply is access the, uh, the platform and explore what kind of initiatives are happening around you and get involved. It's a great idea. So when they first launched the project and came up with this idea, how were the reactions of people? Uh, so basically, the platform was launched in September 2019 uh, in partnership with Cleanup Bahrain and World Cleanup Day. And what World Cleanup Day is, is a movement uh, which uh, more than 100 countries are participating in, uh, where in, during one day, the, the largest number of people within each country go out and clean their public spaces. Now, it's, it's created a great buzz in Bahrain as well because 1% helped facilitate the cleanup in Bahrain over 12 beaches and there was over 1,700 volunteers that participated and it created a great impact because, you know, cleaning up uh, uh, public spaces is an important, you know, an important habit that we want to encourage everyone to do, you know, not just one person. And it's really yeah. created ripple effect it's really created a great impact and we were so happy to see that as well i think it's a global initiative right so you have so many collaborations can you tell us about the highlights 
the the most important initiatives or the initiatives with the uh, you know the largest impact definitely yeah so uh, all the uh, when it comes to the platform all the content on the platform is driven by passionate volunteers and the credit goes to them for uh, you know for volunteering and leading the way with a very high spirit and a lot of passion because this passion is actually contagious like when you have a volunteer who is very passionate about their cause it really creates um, a very great effect on us you know so in terms of yeah, the different so cool, initiatives yeah, yeah in, ter- in terms of the different initiatives there are quite a lot uh, to mention but i will mention just a, a few uh, there was one yeah, initiative yeah just the highlight yeah sure there was one initiative uh, which is the uh, Bahrainana coloring book and this book was actually created during the covid you know since the lockdown people were not able to uh, really meet physically as a community so one volunteer uh, took it upon herself to create the task inviting all the artists across the island uh, to contribute with one page of art uh, that represents Bahrain culture and all the artists mm-hmm. Uh, submitted uh, their work and uh, all these pages were compiled into a book called Bahrainana and it was actually wow. distributed to uh, NGOs, to charities, to the Children Cancer Center in Lebanon uh, after the unfortunate explosion that happened and it was a gift from Bahrain and we really really loved it. The reaction from the kids was really amazing, they were so happy to receive such such a gift and uh, really it's very inspiring for for these artists to see the impact that they had on these children so we were very happy with this initiative and you know really proud of the volunteers who have come up with it uh, now uh, going on to another initiative there was actually one volunteer who organized an event to help the AWA cherry tree Trust. which is uh, an annual event uh, which the AWA, who is the American Women Association, organizes uh, for disabled children, to raise funds for disabled children. So for the initiative on on 1%, one volunteer uh, sought out um, uh, volunteers to assist these disabled children, uh, you know, guide them, uh, walk with them, uh, spend time with them, basically, because it's something important to... To break this barrier between the disabled or the special needs person yes. and the, I don't want to say normal, but you know the everyday, uh, you know the person who doesn't have these challenges. So yes. it kind of breaks that barrier and it normalizes it. So this was a very very uh, lovely initiative that um, this volunteer organized. Uh, as well, uh, another initiative that's very very dear to our hearts as well is. Um, Uh, the Malawi Breast Cancer Awareness Volunteering Event. So basically what the organizer needed was an event where volunteers can help organize the event itself. So uh, it was all, an all-women's match and they had volunteers join uh, to help with the medal distribution, to help with the refreshments um, and, other, and other tasks. So it was simplified, you know, through the platform. I know what is the concept. But what's the next step? What's the vision? So, so the vision, the vision, generally speaking, now the important thing to 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 understand as well is that we're enabling people uh, to volunteer in all walks of life because everyone has the intrinsic ability to help another, you know, and it's not just in the context of you know poverty or helping. you know, a certain a certain segment of the community, but everyone exactly. across the line. You know? It's not a matter of someone is, uh, let's say, at a lower level financially than me or at a higher level. It's something as simple as like helping someone change the tire of their car or like uh, giving someone some, like their jacket. You know, it's simply a habit that we want to encourage people doing. Our long-term yeah. vision is to enable Uh, one billion people to give their time, you know. Uh, but for us, it's very important that we uh, kind of spread like this habit of uh, giving their time, of volunteering. So that for us is uh, the long-term vision. Now, when it comes to um, uh, when it comes to like the short-term vision, 
uh, it is also the same. It's simply to enable others to uh, create that and to help other people. Okay, so I think a lot of people would be interested to volunteer for one person. How would they do that? Uh, it's very simple, actually. You just sign up to the app and uh, you create your profile uh, just by choosing the different interests you like, uh, just filling in your name, uh, your date of birth, and uh, that's it, you're in. So you can join as well by, by either participating in an existing event happening around you, whether on-site or online, or you can create a group. Now, if you have a cause that is dear to your heart, uh, this is where you will go ahead and create your group, explain uh, what kind of skills you need from volunteers, what is your vision for this group, and any individual can do it. It doesn't have to be an NGO or an organization. Anyone can yeah. do what they like. Uh, and that's it. And they will be the leaders of, uh, you know, of change and creating this impact. So you can either participate okay. or you can create a group and after that have you create your initiative so who at the end monitors the projects and maybe evaluates the outcome of what's happening so basically how how it's being monitored is there are certain keywords which are filtered out by the platform which are let's say red flags because um, the the platform allows all kinds of initiatives to happen but it strictly uh, prohibits any uh, religious, any uh, fundraising events or any political events. So if there are any words like these keywords that come out or that are red flags, they are turned down because the purpose of the platform is to join the community together and not bring them apart. So it's, course, very, yes. uh, it's very important that we follow through with them. Now, when it comes to maybe evaluating the outcome of the initiative, this is where the organizer has a tool that helps them uh, organize their events, uh, helps them see the outcome, the turnout of volunteers. You know, yeah. it helps them uh, and uh, and helps them see the hours that each volunteer spends as well. This is very important uh, yes. for individuals, whether in schools, whether in universities this uh, you know this helps them kind of see exactly where their time was spent and in which initiatives so looking through your past events you'll be able to see what you have what you've done so you mentioned you just mentioned schools do you have kids participating uh, yeah we have actually kids who are participating as well uh, there are wow. schools who have joined as a group yes yes uh, and we have uh, like great examples, uh, St. Chris, uh, Christopher's School in Bahrain. We have uh, an International School. We have Polytechnic. We've done a partnership. These are these are groups which are already existing within within the platform. Because the 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 task we are creating is that uh, to simplify the the volunteering opportunities which they can find. Yes, and it's very it's very good for children to learn the concept and understand it in a, in a very young age. That yes, yeah. a part of your time, uh, not not just your money, not just your food, a part of your time should be spent for a good cause. Definitely. So yeah, like yeah, hats off. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, so do you have different levels? Like for example, uh, certain projects that can be like suitable for children and others that can be suitable for adults, some for women, for example, or it's open for everyone? Uh, usually, like most of the initiatives are open for everyone, but if there are limitations on a certain event, the organizer is able to uh, do that by um, allowing approval. So if they need okay. only, only uh, for example, females, they'd be able to approve it manually or have it approved automatically. Whoever wants to join, they'll be able to approve them. So if there is that limitation, the group organizer is the one that uh, can can create it. Yeah. I'm trying to tackle all the questions that maybe any of our viewers who want to join would be curious about. So this is why I'm asking you about very like detailed things uh, with yeah. the application and how to volunteer and and you know even the specifications of what you can join and what you cannot 
Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm welcome to all of these questions. They're very helpful for the viewers as well. I know that the motive is, is from within because they want to see the, the world a better place. But within the application or within the platform, uh, do you provide you know some rewards for, for example, the volunteer of the month or something like that? So basically what we do is um, currently the, the reward is simply going there and seeing the impact you're creating. Right now, yeah. this is the reward system. Maybe in future, we will introduce some sort of more tangible reward. But at the time being, uh, we'd like people to simply uh, feel the joy and the gratitude in other people's faces once they have gifted their time. This for us is the main reward. We'd also like to, to highlight as well um, a session that happened previously. It's uh, called um, um, uh, uh, Volunteering and Spotlight. And as well, there is uh, the of Volunteering. Now, this is uh, um, a webinar that we partnered with, with Bahrain Polytechnic. And it was hosted with a panel of leaders within their respective fields and for students and the members of the public. And the purpose of this webinar was to actually uh, shed light on this specific, uh, you know, um, challenge of how, what is really the benefit of volunteering? What, what is it? You know, people like to think of like something tangible. Okay, so I'll go and do this. What do I get in return? But it's a matter of, you know, just um, changing that mindset into uh, yeah. it, it is not something tangible, it's something intangible because yeah. it affects our, uh, it affects us psychologically, mentally. It really helps to lift, you know, our our thinking, especially within this difficult time. Even COVID maybe showed us how how our mental health is so important. And something as simple as, you know, um, helping someone like the previous week, there was a green rooftop planting where people were helping create this community space and they're building it from scratch. You know, something as simple as that can change your mood. You know, that yes, day, yes, yes, of you, know, course, you walk yes. up in, in a like cranky mood and then you go to that event and you're seeing everyone come together to create this space. And it's just that, that joy of, you know, because in the end, as humans, we're very social creatures, you know, yeah. so, so coming together with a common goal is something very important and usually the impact is underestimated and i think that in itself is is a reward you know in itself so these leaders who were speaking and hosted in the the webinar were all actually give great examples of how volunteering has impacted their life um, and how it has helped them even find um, opportunities in the workplace you know yes, some yes, didn't yes. even have have a profession or have a job and through volunteering it has opened uh, doors for them you know so yes and, and it, it can develop their skills by the way like yes, some people can be shy and then they they go out and meet people and maybe just being passionate about an idea and explaining it to others it develops a skill actually on that note it's great that you mentioned that we had um uh, as well, uh, with the Polytechnic uh, University, we had uh, uh, a 1% challenge, which was actually something similar to a competition where the students mm -hmm. each come up with an idea uh, to address a solution, to create a solution for a problem within the community. So they came mm -hmm. up with amazing ideas. All, all of those ideas have come from the heart, you know, and they're really they are really helping change uh, or solve an issue within society. We had some really great ideas That's and great. really passionate students. I was so happy to see that and so happy to see how involved they are, how passionate they are, because it's an important thing to when you're creating change or helping others is to be consistent and be passionate. It's so, so important. Yeah. Yes, that, that's actually great. So you, you're, you're not just a platform for initiatives to showcase uh, their, their projects or their awareness campaigns. No, you help create new initiatives. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, it says. Basically, when uh, initiatives or awareness campaigns like large ones, for example, want to collaborate with 1%, how do they approach you? 
yeah now now there are there are two two sides to that that i'd like to mention now the first uh, the first way which is you know the simplest way is just to create the vast awareness initiative on the app to create their group to get people uh, involved and and uh, find out and explore what their initiative is all about that's the first point because when when you're creating a group or an initiative on one person something important to understand is all the people that are on there are purely volunteers you know it's it's yeah. different than when you're announcing it on Instagram you have a different pool of very diverse maybe interests but some might not be interested in volunteering so yeah. the important thing to 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 note is that one percent audience is purely volunteers so definitely 100 percent there will be people interested in the initiative uh, if it's mm-hmm. helping uh, a good cause now that's mm-hmm. that's on one level if there is a collaboration say uh, with an organization or there's something like a webinar or a seminar uh, we can partner with them and they can simply reach out to us on you know on instagram on any social media platform on facebook Uh, on Twitter, on email, you know, we're here, you know, we're part of the community and, you know, we're here to support, of course, like-minded people. That's great. So is it just within Bahrain or is it open internationally? So, uh, so yeah, One Percent is a global platform. It was launched in Bahrain, uh, but currently now uh, there are groups and initiatives happening in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. Uh, in Jordan and in Italy, uh, so there are a few outside, but most of them are happening within Bahrain because it was the starting point. Okay, hopefully it's going to spread out and it's going to become international, worldwide, and because it is an idea that is uh, worth wor- that is worth it. Yes, definitely. Oh, well, just think of it like if you're in Chile or you're in. Egypt or you're in Tunisia and you know you're exploring and you'd like to help out someone and you know you just look at the explore and see what's happening and you get to meet people within a country that you don't know anything about I mean for me personally when I go to a country I want to see the locals I want to see what they're doing what struggles they're facing what issues they're facing even what help they need you know so this is a great way to do that and very simple you're helping others and you're you're getting involved in the community yes and a lot of people by the way would have uh, spare time or would have the willingness to uh, volunteer or help someone but maybe they do not know what's the right thing to do so you provide them with a variety of initiatives and projects and you just pick what you believe in and what you want to support and go ahead it's all yours yes yes yes, yes. that's true okay so Is there a final message that you want to send out to Bahrain Nationals viewers? Uh, well, my final message is that, you know, we we actually, um, uh, first of all, uh, as we said, we would really, really love to see people explore the platform uh, and understand the, the concept behind gifting time. You know, it's something extremely important And yes. something that we want to create it as a habit. And we would really, really love your feedback, really love your thoughts. We'd love, love great ideas which other people can join. And we'd love to connect, you know, people with one another and need with a volunteer. That is our main goal. And we really thank you for your time. Thank you so much. No, you're, you're most welcome. It's the least we can do to support uh, such a great platform. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nadia. This is the end of today's episode of Connected from Home. See you next week with new topics and guests from all around the world.